Hello, kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your Australia-only weather forecast until Sunday and of course recorded today Monday the 1st of December which is the first day of summer on the meteorological calendar but if you go by the astronomical dates we've got three more weeks of spring to go. Let's have a look at the satellite and lightning map today. The main feature today is actually I think down here in the southeast the polar boundary and the blue line um, the 5400 means that it's measured higher up in the atmosphere unlike the white lines which are measured on the surface of the planet. So this is showing this cold change taking a bite out of the atmosphere which is why you'll notice temperatures down uh, in South Australia, Victoria, Tasmania and southern parts of New South Wales even into the ACT as we go through today as that colder change moves through and a wee bit of low pressure in Bass Strait helping to drive in a bit more wind and a few more showers around there. For the thunderstorms you need to go mostly further into the north um, because that's where we get them mainly into the tropical region of northern Australia. High pressure here in southern parts of western Australia ballooning out pushing away much of that thundery weather and that's why we've seen a clearance around southeast parts of Queensland following the thundery weather we've just had and in fact a dry stretch coming again for you. The next chance of wet weather looks to really be not until uh, this coming Sunday, nearly a week away. And then the other feature, the low pressure zones here around Western Australia into the Midwest and further northwards, Gascoigne, Pilbara, Kimberley getting plenty of thunderstorms as we kick off the 1st of December. So here is the air pressure map. The brighter colors mean high pressure. So this is the first time we've seen a sort of a big high stretching up this far northwards and that's why you're not seeing all those thunderstorms around Alice Springs or further down into uh, eastern parts of Australia. So the high pressure zone moves in, drags down warmer weather on the left hand side of it. So coming down for Perth and Bunbury and other areas there, hotter weather for you. But eastwards, once you're into South Australia, all the way across to about Sydney, that is the cooler airflow that is moving in, although Sydney may not really notice it so much. But those of you on the southern coastline definitely noticing that temperature drop today with that southerly change coming from the Great Australian Bight all the way up basically to Catherine. Here is the Tuesday forecast. So we'll stick with the high because that is the main driving force. So high pressure moves into basically right over the top of Kangaroo Island and Adelaide getting light winds. Um, the blue you see, maybe a couple of early showers, otherwise drying out for you. Similar story for Victoria. Um, any wet weather sort of lingers in the east longer as it all sort of moves eastwards. So there could be a few showers around, a little bit heavy here and there around New South Wales. But once you're into Queensland, much drier forecast than it's been as that southerly wind from the high pressure zone goes all the way up into Queensland curves around as an easterly and that's what you've got for the Northern Territory. So as far as thunderstorms are concerned on Tuesday, mostly in the far north of Queensland, the top end, maybe a little bit around Western Australia, still seeing a few thundery showers there. And like I say, one or two possible around parts of New South Wales because you get that cooler southerly injection coming in. Perfect recipe for a thunderstorm. But on Wednesday, uh, the high is in charge of the east, dry, light winds, um, temperatures maybe a little lower in the morning but not too bad during the day. Further southwards your temperatures going up as westerlies return mostly dry and tassie dry for Victoria the ACT and in South Australia now your heat is starting to return. Notice the red line which has already sunk southwards for Western Australia now it starts to push this northerly wind into South Australia but a pretty quiet weather map not a lot to talk about the usual sort of showers and thunderstorms right in the tropics one or two maybe here around some parts of Western Australia. One other feature with high pressure offshore, a bit of a southerly breeze also coming into the southwest where it may not be quite as hot as the, those of you over in the southeast corner of Western Australia. So by Thursday, that high in the Indian Ocean sort of stretches over into the Great Australian Bight. That encourages an easterly wind for southern parts of Western Australia and the red tropical boundary moving further eastwards, further into uh, South Australia with a wee bit of low pressure. So there might be a few cloud buildups and possibly a, a couple of showers, although for now, it's looking fairly dry. And there's a little bit of low pressure also coming into Victoria that may uh, spark a few cloudy areas. Um, but really what you're seeing here in the east with high pressure drifting out over Lord Howe Island, Norfolk's got a few showers with a southeasterly, but on the other side, back into the mainland, it drags down a north to northwesterly wind, which of course will lift your temperatures up. And that's what we see here with those nor'westers lifting up uh, from Port Macquarie right down into the eastern side of Victoria. Not talking about anything too strong, but just enough to boost the temperatures up and really dry the skies out. 
stays that way into Friday. Um, not a great deal of change here. Certainly dry. You know, this is a this is one of the quietest weeks I've seen around Australia weather-wise in a number of months. So this is a lot quieter uh, than we've been getting. So really, Friday, not much to talk about uh, around Australia. As we go into the weekend, now we've got a little bit of change. Uh, over here, the red tropical boundary dropping down into the coastal eastern side of New South Wales. So hotter weather coming through there. But on the uh, other side, or other end, of the eastern coastline. Once you get down here to Victoria, Bass Strait, Tasmania, you guessed it, polar boundary returning. So in between the tropical and the polar, showers, thunderstorms developing, some of those um, slow moving, kind of stuck between these systems. But further northwards, hot, hot northerlies, hot northwesterlies, very humid over much of Queensland and that pushes further out towards uh, Brisbane and places like Toowoomba, but you know, it's dry, mostly dry for you on the Saturday anyway at this stage. Pretty dry elsewhere, apart from a few isolated thunderstorms, really still looking quite dry. Sunday's map shows a bit more energy in the east now. So this is where we've got a chance of thunderstorms along the eastern coastline of New South Wales and coming into the southeast of Queensland. That's where it is hot and tropical and with the high pressure belt to the south dredging up a, a cooler airflow off the Tasman Sea. That's the recipe for some showers and thunderstorms as we go into Sunday. And there's also around the Northern Territory uh, thunderstorms forming for you, but the high certainly in control, bringing Australia a much drier week for most areas. Um, but the west coast of Tassie caught up in the windy westerlies here on Sunday, more west coast rain or showers, but the east stays mostly dry. That is all from me for the 1st of December. Don't forget our Climate Watch update for the month of December. That is out today. La Nina has officially formed. But as you can see, the Southern Ocean, very dominant at the moment. So it's not a switch that flicks and suddenly everything changes. We've actually had La Nina conditions for the last two months. But it has to be measured over a certain amount of time before you can say it's here. And now they're doing that. The Bureau of Meteorology confirming that last week. So we'll be keeping an eye on what happens up here to the northeast of Australia. That is where we measure La Nina to see if anything is going to change what we've currently got. But for now, we've got the same pattern that we had last month carrying on into December. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again in the Climate Watch update. Otherwise, I'll catch you again tomorrow, Tuesday, with our next Australia-only update.